Here we have a list of periodic table elements. Today I woke up and I decided I wanted to number everything that could be numbered. So here we go with a number bullets script. And here you'll see that the script has prepended numbers 1 through 109 followed by a period. Everything can be undone quite easily with the Ctrl plus Z keyboard shortcut. And let me redo quickly. But I may wake up tomorrow and decide I want to get rid of the numbering. So all I do is activate the number bullet script again. And it says here, bullets are properly numbered. Press OK to clear all numbering. OK and my numbers have been eliminated. Now, let's say that my list title is numbered as part of another list. Let's put in a 2. And if I number my list again, you'll see that all of the children inherit the parent number, and each child now becomes a sub-point in the hierarchy. Okay, let's jump to an adjacent list. Here's a chest, shoulders, and triceps routine from the famous P90X workout program. I'm gonna number this list with a slightly different number bullets script. And you'll see that with this particular script, numbers one through nine get preceded by a zero. They get padded so that my list content stays on one level plane. Let me undo this with Ctrl plus Z and use the previous script. And see here how with the crossover from 9 to 10, the list content doesn't line up. So let me undo. And let me number my bullets with the padded version again. Well, this is just a matter of aesthetics. Not a big deal at all. Now, I'm just going to reshuffle a couple of these lists so that the numbers are a tad mixed up. And let me activate the same script again. So you'll see all the bullets got renumbered from 1 through 24. And now I'm going to briefly show you but two real use cases of mine. So we're going to jump to a scheduled reading list of mine. Let me toggle my completed items to visible in this list. So you'll see that I like to read through 150 psalms over a 30-day period or a month. At a glance, I can see what I'm going to read through on any given day, depending on the date. Let me jump to one last list. In this list, you'll see 24 screencasts I was hoping to get done before the launch date for WFX. It looks like I'll have to knock off two scripts from this list and get around to them after the launch date. Let me complete these two items to hide them from the list for now. And now we have numbers 14 and 18 missing, so I'm going to have to rework the numbers from 15 down. But notice what happens when I activate a number bullets script. You'll see that only the top level parent lists have been numbered. Fine and well, but how about my grandchildren lists? The ones which have been split into categories. Well, what needs to happen in scenarios like this is we need to select only lists we want the number bullet script to add numbering to. That means I would have to select each and every one of the grandchildren bullets one by one. But fortunately, the power pack includes a script which will multi-select all visible grandchildren lists. Watch this. And now that all of my grandchildren have been selected, I can go ahead and activate my preferred number bullets script. 
and you've just seen that now I have a continuous numbering of my scheduled screencasts from 1 through 22. And with that, let's run through a quick demo of the script install. I'm going to zoom into the number bullets outline. You'll see two scripts here. I'm going to go with the one that gives me zeros for padding. I'll go ahead and activate the WFX prompt and type in WFS to activate an install of the script. And my custom shortcut to activate the script will be NB2. And we're all set. By the way, if you'd like to install the script you saw in action, the one that multi-selects all grandchildren lists, you'll find it under Edit right here. Don't be shy to try out the number bullets scripts. It's just a matter of time before you find a couple of use cases that fit your need perfectly.